everybody, Godzilla Guy here. I was gonna have a cool intro explaining why I wanted to do this video, but I couldn't really think of any at all. Yep. So let's get straight into the video. Why Godzilla can't exist. So throughout this video, there's gonna be two major reasons on why Godzilla can't exist. Both those two can also be split into two smaller ones. And the two major ones overall is food intake, so calories, and then also just sheer size. And so, let's get straight into it. It's my very fancy Google slide. Hi, everyone. So, I was going to do some cool math, but I'm bad at math. Um, and so, just for reference, if you want to do the calorie uh, equation yourself, the age of Godzilla is around 252 million years old. They are also were using Godzilla 2021, the most recent version of him, uh, for this example. He weighs around 99,634 tons, so roughly 100,000 tons. And he is at a height of 393 feet. Now, first up, the first major reason, not enough calories. So according to Vsauce 3 and CERN, uh, Godzilla would need around 215 million calories a day. So if we say... Let's eat. Let's have, let's have him eat the most calorie dense animal, a blue whale. A blue whale has in between 20 to 50 million calories. So we're gonna go in between and say he has 35 million. Well, that sounds pretty good. It does. And so remember, blue whales are kind of sort of endangered a little bit. So meaning, if he were to eat enough blue whales every day, he'd have to eat around six. Meaning he'd only have enough food between 4.5 to 11.4 years, which sounds like oh, that's not too bad. I'm older than how long he would survive. <laughs> now the next one that's also about food I'm very excited about because I find it quite funny. Godzilla would explode from eating. <laughs> I'm not making this up, I'm not clickbaiting. Godzilla would pop from eating too much food. So, <laughs> Mike Doherty, I hope I didn't butcher that name, the writer for Godzilla vs. Kong and Godzilla King of the Monsters replied to a tweet uh, of someone asking, so does Godzilla eat meat or just radiation? And Mike Doherty replied with, other titans slash kaijus are basically sources of radiation meat. So, dot dot dot. Implying that Godzilla does have the full ability to eat kaiju in order to get the radiation he needs. Now, the amazingly famous clip we all love and know. Need to carry reproductive organs. No dick, no balls, and probably no butthole since this guy feeds on radiation. The perfect example of why Godzilla would quite literally pop. He does not have a butthole. So, after eating, and eating, and eating, and eating, 152 million years, I'd probably say he probably wouldn't make it to his first million, he would pop. When you eat too much of something, especially since he can't really get rid of it besides throwing up, um, he would just pop. And eventually, <laughs> it would not be able to, you know, go anywhere, so it would just sit there building up building up, building up, and eventually his stomach and skin and ribs would just not be able to hold it and he would pop like a tick. It's uh, quite a way to go for the King of the Monsters um, to just even imagine that's kind of gross and I don't recommend imagining it or thinking about it any further. Moving on. Uh, hi everybody, uh, a clip I made about the square cube blood got corrupted. Which is a bummer, so I'll explain it very fast. The square cube law pretty much applies to any certain object. Uh, pretty much its size, when it increases, its weight cubes, while its strength squares. So, pretty much, that's why elephants have such strong and sturdy and, like, thick bones, because they need them that big to be able to pick stuff up. You can bypass it, though, if you're something like a whale that has the buoyancy of water lifting it up at all times. So, yeah, uh, enjoy. Now, if Godzilla just stay in the water his entire life, he might have a chance. He'll probably be fine. 2021 can also control his density, which is kind of weird, but looking past that. <laughs> Let's just say, forget it. Just plop by Godzilla onto the land. He just gets on shore. What happens? Well, if he's walking onto shore, he's going to sink into the sand like it's a pit. Um, it just the sheer amount of weight that's going to be stepped on the small area, he will just sink through it like it's nothing and kind of suffocate there in the sand, which would be an unfortunate way to go, especially as the Alpha Titan. Okay, well, let's say, fine, he's, he's just dropping solid ground, you know, concrete, a city. <laughs> What's the problem solved, right? Wrong. Now it is much worse. First, his bones would shatter under his own weight like glass, because our friend Square Cubla, um, sure, he has strong bones, but his weight, almost 100,000 tons, no bone is going to be able to support that. It is going to shatter, 
and just get obliterated. <laughs> okay, well, find him. His bones are strong enough, Godzilla guy. His bones, now what? Good for him, but now his skin is going to rip and fall off of his own body. So pretty much he's gonna stand there and then just get skinned. Lovely. Like a sunburn. All right, skin stays on. Now what? All right, the skin's staying on. It's fine there. Well, <laughs> now his inner organs, lungs, heart, liver, everything that he might have is going to squish inside of his body and just collapse and break. So all of his or organs are going to smush against each other. Now he can't breathe, his lungs are destroyed, and his heart can't pump blood. We'll get to that later. Okay, fine, fine. He is all good. Everything is sitting still. It's all strong enough. Now what? Well, my friends, you have what I like to call my favorite guy. The guy who just says, F you physics, Showa Godzilla. That's Showa Godzilla in, in a nutshell. Now, the fourth and final reason that I brought up about the heart, his heart would not be able to pump blood to his brain. The, there's no heart uh, that, that could be inside of him um, that would be strong enough to pump the just vast amount of blood through his entire body. He would be brain dead before he gets in the land, uh, just the, the fact that there's no blood being pumped to it. So, how could Godzilla exist, if there's any way at all? It would be in the ocean permanently. So even if he was real, we wouldn't have any worry, because he would be permanently stuck in, in the water. If he were to try and come on land, any of these multiple things would happen to him. And even in the water, he would most likely die because there's just not enough fish in the ocean to supply him for a couple more million years. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I know it's a shorter video, but if you want to see more funny, odd Godzilla content like this, make sure to check out the channel. I upload stuff like this here and there, but mostly figure reviews. And I hope you guys enjoyed seeing why Godzilla would just die from starving or just kind of smush apart. It's lovely, lovely ideas. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm Godzilla Guy. And yeah. Keep collecting, everybody. I'm a skedaddle. Have a good one. Yeah, that's right. Cope. What in tarnation does that even- Cope. Seethe. Maud. You listen here, you string bean. Seethe. You ain't cope. Cope.